So taking a close look at the fretboard, when we do our four finger exercise, all we're doing is we're adding one finger to a string at a time, first, second, third, fourth, and then we're just moving across the fretboard like this. Picking each note, of course. Um, if you're new to guitar, what you want to try to do, particularly with your first finger, is make sure that it is as close to that fret when you start. Because you're going to find that your fingers are going to have a hard time spreading for the first time. So because of that, these other fingers are going to land a little lower on the fret than we would like. Um, but if, as long as you position that first finger nice and close, you'll have a little bit of an easier time with these fingers. And again, um, if you're new to guitar, your fingers are going to want to lift off. That's okay for right now. Nothing wrong with that. And you mean you are going to struggle with that pinky finger. It's not going to make a good sound. And that is okay. Again, this is not music. This is just an exercise uh, just to get the fingers warmed up. And if the top string is too difficult to begin on, well, start with the bottom string. And just do the same thing. All we're doing is moving across the fretboard, adding one finger at a time. So for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to start on my low E string, the sixth string, the one that's closest to my face, and I'm going to start on the fifth fret. Fifth fret, for me, I have a dot on the side of my neck, which kind of helps me indicate where that is. And, you know, the way I look at it is I'm going to put my finger right between where that dot and that fret is, like this. Okay, so I'm going to make a weird angle on the guitar here just so you can see it. But what we're going to do is we're going to pluck, uh, sorry, we're going to put our first finger on the fifth fret and pick it. Same thing with the fret above, add in our middle finger, our th second finger to the sixth fret, our third finger to the third, uh, our third finger to the seventh fret, and then our pinky finger, ooh, is it ever a mean finger, to the eighth fret. So again, we're just going one, two, three, four. And then once you've done that, just move your first finger down to the next string and do the same thing. And just keep moving across the fretboard. And like I said, if it's too difficult to start on that top string, um, the, you know, the size of your guitar could be working against you, then start on the bottom string, on your high E string. And so on and so forth until you get back to where you started. Now, if you find that this is easy, then let's try it as an exercise and start on that sixth string. Try to keep in tempo the whole time. Now at this point, I want you to hold your pinky finger down. Hold that pinky finger, and now we're going to hit rewind and go in reverse. The same exercise, only going backwards. So again, if you're new to this, you're going to struggle with that pinky finger. And try to get it to reach over. Excellent. And again, only go as to what's comfortable for your wrist right now. You don't want to be bending your wrist or else that'll just cause you problems later. Now, again, this, there's a lot of variations you can do on this exercise. So again, if this is too easy for you, well, let's make it a little bit harder. Why don't we start with your pinky finger on the top string, on your E string, and do everything the opposite of the way we just did the last one. Of course, you new players can try this as well. And then go the opposite way. And you found that easy, I'm going to give you one more that you can try. 
Uh, and this is where you're going to do, uh, you're going to ascend one string, and then come down the next string. And this is a good practice for you to learn to kind of drop your, your fingers to the, I guess, the next fret. This happens in a lot of music where kind of getting used to doing as little movement as possible. It's just going to get you faster playing the guitar. I like that one. That one's fun. Let me do that one again. So again, we're going to send up one, one string and descend down the other one. Now go opposite. Pushing the pinky finger up. don't have to match my tempo on this one. You can find your own tempo. Some quick variations on this uh, would be, you could play it just about anywhere on the guitar. You could play it at the, oh geez, the ninth fret, at the seventh fret, especially if you find that maybe your fingers can't quite stretch at the fifth fret. Try it someplace else. Heck, you could even just do this on one string over and over and over again. Remember, don't look at your right hand. Your right hand's a smart hand between the two of them and it doesn't need any of your help. However, this one's a little slow in class. So give it all your concentration. If you find that you miss it, a string, then just try to see if you can fix it without actually looking at your right hand. So again, if you all of a sudden you miss, try to fix it, sticking to the exercise the entire time.